And uh, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Nick, Friday, probably the worst performance you've had uh, of your career at Kent State besides the, the, the loss to Sentez, the 12-second pin. What do you take from Friday's loss? Uh, I mean, it was tough at first, but, I mean, true champions rise up and come back after a loss like that. And this whole year for me was about just having, going out and having fun. And Friday, I just wasn't, I wasn't there. Not to make an excuse, I got beat, but that's not how I wrestle and that's not how I want to wrestle. And I just came in today and got re-motivated and got the win. What was Coach uh, Andrussi's uh, advice to you from Friday, uh, that performance Friday to today's performance? What did, how did he get you up for this one? He just said, uh, NCAA, that, would you rather lose uh, that match or NCAAs in the quarters, semifinals, whatever? And, and he was right. I mean, losing now, I mean, it sucks losing. I hate losing more than anything. Uh, but you learn from it, and you, I got re-motivated. And I'm still, I still want to be a national champ, and I still believe in myself that I can be a national champ this year. Nick, that uh, uh, the young man you were up against, uh, he's from uh, he's from just up the road uh, in Aurora. I think this is probably a big, big thing for him as well. He's a four-time state champion. What uh, was the strategy against uh, against Julius is, is out there? Uh, I don't really have a strategy against anyone. I just just keep, like, score points and just go at people. I mean, this is it. I can't, I can't be scared of anyone. I can't make strategies. I just go, got to go out and attack and make them wrestle me and not me wrestle them, you know what I'm saying? And just go out and get the job done. Ian, you're roughly oh and a th or one in a thousand now against Tassari. You've never actually beaten him, and whether it be practice, and you've trained with him since you were little kids. How huge was that win for you today? Uh, it was big. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, so um, there's always that um, feelings. But uh, going out and training with Kent State kids, um, I've gotten a lot better, and that was a big win for me. So. Was that an accurate record that I just gave of your record against him? Probably pretty good. <laughs> record, including all the practices we trained together. So, yeah. um, it, it looked like uh, you were just being aggressive. You hit a little duck there. And uh, did you feel it when you slammed him on the mat there? Could you tell it was a slam? Yeah, I, I could tell it was a pretty good slam. Uh, I just had to pace myself, and when I seen the opening, I took it. All right, uh, how, how much different was, you know, Friday's performance, yours was similar to Nick's. It was probably, uh, you know, I don't know the last time you've probably been pinned in your life, but Friday you, you took a pin and you just kind of ran out of gas. Um, what are you taking? What adjustments did you make from Friday to today? I uh, just trained. Uh, I tried to wear myself out until I couldn't walk anymore just to get that feeling again of, like, my Friday's match. I wanted to get that feeling in me so I could remember what I don't want to, want to happen to me. And uh, that seemed to work for me. Uh, so I went out there and I paced myself, and I got tired in the third period, but it was better than getting tired in the second period. Yeah, talk a little bit about the crowd today. Uh, uh, Coach Gracie was saying this, and, and you had the uh, this is probably the biggest uh, his crowd that's ever come out for uh, Kent State University wrestling match. Obviously, uh, 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 with the Buckeyes, uh, 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 the, uh, the whole uh, school went all out. Just talk about, how, about, how about the support you guys got today. Uh, it was really exciting. I mean, I've been this is my fifth year now, and we never had a crowd like that. And Jim. Coach said that uh, this is probably the biggest crowd in Kent State history for a wrestling match. So, I mean, my senior year, we wrestled Ohio State. We didn't win, but it was a great match. We went 5-5, five and five, and the crowd, was a lot of people here to support us in Ohio wrestling. So, it was, I think it was great for both teams. Ian, you talked about, uh, you know, the kind of died in the second period against Missouri, and then you, you got tired in the third period today. Is that a, is that a weight cut issue? Is it a, just exerting yourself too early in the um, match issue? Earlier, uh, um, two weeks ago, or th over Thanksgiving break, I got a tooth. I fractured my tooth, and uh, that put me out for quite a few days. I couldn't practice. And um, I'm not going to make an excuse for myself, but I just didn't have the gas I'm used to having. so. Do you see that being, I don't know, when your next competition is maybe the Matt Town Oak invitation? Is that going to be a, a problem the rest of the year or something you're certain to? I'm going to be back in the room tomorrow. So.
uh, Ian, how about the jump that you've made from high school to college? How important is it to, you know, a win today? This is probably the, one of the bigger wins of your career today against Camp Tassari. Um, how big is, how important has it making the jump and getting off the mat and things like that been to you and your, your, your college wrestling so far? Uh, it's pretty big. Um, I was talking to my dad and he said that you're only in your second week of high school wrestling but you're into your like, six week college wrestling, so that's a big difference. And uh, just pacing yourself and not wearing yourself out is, is key right now, because it's a long season, so it's a big jump. Anything else for wrestlers? Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.